Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. My name is Dheo Stajimal and in this video we will be creating an NPM package and we will be publishing that on NPM registry. After that we will also be testing that package so that the whole cycle is completed. I hope you will learn something from this video. This video will be mostly focusing on the process and not uh, not creating the best package which you can publish you can just use your creativity and create your own package but the process uh, will be important in this video so uh, i will be creating a random password generator it will be a basic password generator but the process remains same for any other package also so i hope you will find this video useful and if you find this video useful do like the video share this with your friends and the people who need this subscribe for more such videos if you are new here hi my name is dios tajimal and on this channel i create videos related to web development tutorials tips and tricks freelancing uh, entrepreneurship i share my journey so if you are interested in these kind of topics make sure you subscribe to this channel and uh, yeah let's get into the video so here in VS Code, I have created a folder named Password Generator. We will be creating a NPM package which generates password. When you give a length of password you need, it will generate a random password for you. So we will create that NPM package. So here after creating a folder named Password Generator, I will click on Terminal, New Terminal. And here to create NPM package, you need to install NPM and NPM comes along with Node. So when you install Node.js, it already comes with that. So if you want to confirm whether you have NPM or not in your terminal type and npm dash dash version and if you get some version name like this that means your npm is installed but if you don't get something like this then you need to install node.js okay so you can download node.js and after that you can watch this video now after that we will initialize npm so npm in it and here you will be asked some generic questions like what will the what will be the name of your package so it will be password generator click on enter version is 1.1 just click on enter if you want to add something let's say description it's a password generator package entry point is index.js let's keep that only by default no repository keyword author let's say the usage Gmail. no license and that's it yes click on yes why and that's it now your package.json file is created. So package.json is the single most important file as far as creating or publishing a npm package is concerned. Without it, you won't be able to publish your uh, whatever you create to the npm registry. As you can see in the main field, there is a main field which points to index.js. So it refers to the name of the file that would be loaded when your package is required by another application. By default, it points to index.js as we have set it by default. So let's create a index.js file here, index.js. After that, let's create a password generator function. So we will write function generate random password. It will take a length as input and let's have cons char set which will be equal to a b c d e f okay uh, from this we will be generating our password let's have password equals to an empty string initially for var i equals to zero so like a i is less than length i plus plus here we will be generating a random index so random index which will be math dot random and we will multiply this with char set dot length and after that we will be using its floor value it will be math dot floor now we have generated a proper ind random index now we will say password plus equals character char set dot caret random index so we will use that character let's so yeah we will be taking one character at a time till we get uh, the whole length of the password after that we will just return the password okay now the important thing is this line so module dot x exports equals to generate random password this is the important line so whatever you are exporting here is what would be available for importing when others install the package uh, you will need to create an account on npm registry so you can do this uh, on npm site itself so you have to go to npm.js and here you have to log in 
create your account so let's click on sign so now i am inside my account so you have to remember the password which you have put after that you will you have to go to your terminal and type here npm login and after clicking on this you will have to provide a username so my username is you have to enter your password now after that you will be logged in as your username and uh, yeah this is how you log in through command line on your uh, npm to test the login was successful you can enter a command like npm who am i it should show your username so it's the ustaz yeah okay so login was successful now maybe you won't be able to uh, publish the package if someone else might have taken this name so you can just change the name from here by coming to package.json you can just change the password generator let's say divas raj and yeah this will work now now to publish your npm package you just have to type npm publish and just click on enter yep that's done now your package is published that's really cool after we have published it's done without any errors so you can visit your account in the npm registry to see the package so you can go to your profile you can click on packages and here you can see here it is password generator divas raj it's a package it's a password generator package you can click on that and you will be taken to its page so here it is password generator divas raj you can just click on this npm install this and install this in your package so there are total two files and the size is 5639 bytes and it was published a minute ago you can just uh, add a readme to your package from here and you can do many things so let's uh, try this uh, password generator in some other package so that we can verify if it is working properly or not so that we can test this so here i have created a new folder called test password and inside this i will just type npm install password generator device which is the code to install your password from npm which will be available on your npm package after that you see, you can see in package.json password generator the ustaz version 1.0.0 is available and let's test this with the help of creating a index.js file and here we will just say const password generator is equals to require password generator the ustaz and here we will log console log let's say password generator and we will give let's say length of 7 to run this we will say node dot slash index dot js here you can see we have generated our password which is of length 7 and it's a random password that's cool uh, run this again with some another let's say 15 length okay node index dot dot slash index dot js and here you go this is a random generated password which is of length so that's how you can generate your password uh, <laughs> that's how you can uh, publish your own npm packages on npm registry and you can customize your npm package page by adding a readme file and uh, so if you find this video useful do like this video subscribe to the channel for more such content and you can watch these videos next i think you will find these videos helpful so if you have any issues you can just comment it down in the comment box i will definitely reply to them and uh, yeah let's have a chat in the comments bye bye